um, relative bearings. And the question at hand is, uh, given the magnetic heading of 311, drift angle 10 degree left, positive bearing of, N, of NDB is 270, what is the magnetic bearing of the NDB measured from the aircraft? Okay, so for some people this might seem blindingly obvious, um, if you're a little bit like me, it didn't jump out at me so much, but this is a very simple way to get your head around it. This question is actually very easy, and once you've done it, you realise how obvious it is, but I find this method is the easiest way to get your head around it. So what you're going to need is your square protractor, paper, and a pen, and that is all. So the first thing you want to do, place your square protractor on your paper, mark a dot in the centre, if you don't have a dot in the centre of your um, or a hole in the centre of your square protractor, you can pre-mark a cross and then overlay it, and then mark on your north at the top. Leaving your square protractor there, the next thing we want to do is measure our magnetic heading of 311. So we'll put another dot there at 311 and then mark a line between the centre point and that point there. Okay, so that is the magnetic heading of the aircraft, so I'll just draw on a quick sketch of the aircraft there so you can see that. Okay, and it says the relative bearing of the NDB is 270 degrees and that is measured from the aircraft, so what you want to do is place your compass on the centre dot again, but align your compass with the heading of the aircraft, like so. Okay, and it says the NDB is at 270, so at 270, put a point on there, and again, draw a line. Between these two. Okay. Now, what we want to do, in fact, if we just mark these up, aircraft, what we want to do now is place your compass back on the centre dot and again align it with north. And if you follow your square protract all the way around, to the bottom there, you should read off the answer of 2, 2, 1. And that is it. Simple as that.